In music genetics news, submitted by Google Maps. Oh, all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they got a brain. They do. They're smart. Spotify has partnered with Ancestry to use your DNA to curate playlists. Mm. No. I don't know if I like that. I'm out. I don't know if I like Seems racist. <laughs> Is this <laughs> That's what a lot of people are saying. Or Tiff, it's like all salsa like, music. It seems you have uh, African genetics. Let's give you some hip hop. Is this how it felt? Is this how it felt when like a bunch of us horse owners saw the first like car, like the Model T, and we're all like, no. Nope. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, cause That's it's true. like this is the progression of technology. We're all like very like. It's Whoa. not really a progression of technology. Man. They're basically stereotyping based on your ancestry to what music you would like. Yeah. Well, you know what? That's not a progression. No, it is. No. Let me Freedom of music choice is a progression. I don't know. No. Would it be stereotyping? Go for it. Defend. Actually... Okay, I will defend it. Are you ready for this? Yes, I'm ready. So, Drop a so bomb. I. Ten, about eight years ago, I was really pissed because Google did this thing where you used to j be able to type in whatever you wanted and then mm -hmm. Google would listen to you. Yeah. But then you just type in a letter and then Google says like, you probably looking for this already. Or whatever, yeah. And I was like, fuck this shit, this is so what I'm looking for. And now if I have to type more than three keys, I'm like, oh, so many <laughs> fucking yeah, keys. This time. And so now what if I don't even have to type in anything? Okay, okay wait, 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 but this time, it's gonna be like, oh, you're white? You probably are looking up insurance. <laughs> yeah, oh, or you're, you're white? white, you probably love Garth Brooks, and you know what? You're goddamn you're right, right I do. Right. Ew, I didn't know that about you. Goddamn right I do. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, street cred. That's it. <laughs> probably probably it, like, bro. terrible music. <laughs> Garth Brooks is I'll not wanna, terrible. I wanna try it. Cause a lot of people are like, I think we're good on giving our DNA to all these big DNA. <laughs> That's what I don't That's want. Because the, yeah. the Illuminati owns the music industry. Yeah. Why do they want your DNA? Mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. know. If they want to Tonight on 60 it. Minutes. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I don't mind being cloned. And then plus, I mean, if you're really thinking that, it's like, well, they could get my DNA from anywhere. Honestly, if they really wanted it. Exactly. Thank just, you, Tiff. Yeah. Yeah. TMI, Tiff. Just wait in my <laughs> toilet. <laughs> <laughs> you're the one that likes to get freaky with yourself in I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so Spotify is now working with Ancestry DNA, which is the Ancestry.com DNA portion of that. And they are saying that they are curating these playlists based on your top, I think it's five, top five genetic... Uh, makeup or whatever you are. So like for example, there's some people that have already done it and they have like like African or like from the UK and like they're creating these playlists like of songs that they might be speaking to their soul. It just much. sounds bad. That's so fucked up. I can picture like my mine was like 90% Chinese and all I can all I can hear is just a dong 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 dong. You know like the what song the song? <laughs> Song. And, and no, that was the Chinese dong song. It was a gong. It was a gong. Dong, 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 dong. I was like, wait a minute. I was expecting some like traditional Chinese song. That's a dong song. <laughs> That's how it came out. That's how Chinese and. Yeah, yeah. and is very authentically very Chinese. Goddamn. Very, 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 very authentic. Wait, yeah, because didn't Cisco? Wasn't he like? Didn't he have like some sort of Asian fetish thing going on with his whole? Persona? I remember that. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's all that bleach. This should, we should do hip hop. We should do hip hop ancient aliens because that's what this is basically. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, the origins is from the Ming Dynasty. That's where the thong song came from. I thought it was gonna be a lot better. Like they know your DNA, and not by like ethnic type. It's more like. Oh, it's actually in your DNA that you would prefer. Oh, that would be sick. Or like hype music or whatever. Oh, yeah. that would be. That would cool. be sick. But no, they're doing it. They're doing it by. Oh, that's what I thought it would be. Culturally, your yeah. peoples listen to hip hop. That's stupid. <laughs> that's because like they can kind of determine other things about you, like if you like spicy foods. Or oh, kind of like the other whatever. thing, right? Like your earwax and shit. And Twenty three and Me. Yeah, I, I guess Ancestry.com is different because that one's yeah. about like your your ethnic group and whatever. That's true. But yeah, like, yeah, I was thinking the other one. They're like, oh, you're white. You probably shop at J. Crew. Yeah. <laughs> they like, fucking love J. Crew, actually. They created a Pinterest for you. Oh, I absolutely love it. I like it when, um, like, people try their best to not be their stereotype, but deep down inside, they absolutely love it. Yeah. And it's like, don't even hide it, man. Fighting it. Yeah, don't fight it. <laughs> like, there'll be some Asian kids at school that they'll be like, oh, no, like, I'm a different kind of Asian, because, like, 
because I suck at math, man. <laughs> I'm like, why is that something to be proud of? I love that shit. It's like, but then like deep down inside, like they actually like math. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, damn it. It's like, hey, what you working on? He's like, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. No, no, trick here. Looking at porn. Yeah, I'm drawing tits. <laughs> drawing big tits. And it's like, well, I look like the number eight. He's like, no, look, there's nipples. See? <laughs> just dots all yeah. up. He's just, the number eight, no. <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, just a lot of people are like, I don't like this. They want our DNA too badly now. Yeah. So they're gonna get it though. You know why? They have our fingerprint. Yeah, but now. I don't, don't want to make it easy for them. Though. They don't have yours. Nah, I don't put it in an apple. Oh, yeah, good I for you. Give it to them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm off the grid. We willfully <laughs> gave them our fingerprint. We willfully put listening devices in our homes. Come and on. And the facial recognition thing. Yeah. yeah. The CIA when they saw it. when they saw that we were doing facial recognition yet next they were like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> like they couldn't believe how lucky they. Now were. I think Facebook has it, so it's optional. Like uh, the facial recognition thing. Wait, there was a point where it wasn't optional. Yeah, no, they would automatically tag oh, like you in photos. people's pictures. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Right, 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 yeah. They'd be like, "Oh shit, you're in this person's photo." And I'm well, like, just because they're not tagging you doesn't mean they're not like That's mapping true. all of it. They're though. secretly mapping my face. Stop mapping my face, you know what's Facebook. Funny? If, if they wanted <laughs> Even the camera it has like a Stop little it. tracker <laughs> on your face. Stop, Kim. <laughs> if people wanted your DNA or whatever, all they have to do is go to the fucking sewer and collect all the dookie. And they got a cesspool of that shit. But they wouldn't know yeah. who's who. Yeah. Would they? Who's who? Yeah, but that's a lot of DNA. Some that's of just an orgy of DNA. <laughs> Some of the funniest stories I've ever read is the CIA trying to collect Fidel Castro's shit <laughs> during the Cold War. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Cold yeah. War had some crazy shit Dude, going on. Dude, it's so funny. Yeah, they were trying to get his poop because they wanted to like test him and see like what his weaknesses were, or if he had any diseases or whatever the what? fuck. Why? That's so much work. We really wanted to kill we him. We wanted to kill him real bad, but, but we couldn't there, get to him. Did you hear about the poison cigar that they tried to like yeah. give No, him? what's that one? No, they, well, they just, they just tried to sneak in a poison because they knew he smoked a lot of cigars and stuff, so they tried to sneak in a poison cigar so that he would hopefully smoke it and die. I was like, what the fuck? How did they find out? That's crazy. Well, I gave it to his son to smoke first. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys are badasses, dude. They didn't fuck around. Yeah, I think he survived like crazy. multiple attempts of assassination from the US. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, imagine being that person. Yeah, being right? Fidel it's like you're Fidel's food tester. And it's like your first day at work. <laughs> first, your first and last day at work. It's a very fast turnaround. And yeah, right. And it's like, yeah, I just got the job. Like the last guy didn't work out. It's like, yeah, yeah, it didn't work out. Yeah. You know? <laughs> How long was he here? Was it a long time to collect like yeah. seven's pair or whatever? Like no, <laughs> no. He's uh, in that pile of bodies over yeah, there. He's a yeah. contractor. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like this. I mean, I'm kind of with you, Joe. I'm like, you well, I've already given my DNA to 23andMe, and I think I can't remember, but I think I did do ancestry DNA also. How badly did you want to know you're from Mexico? <laughs> Damn. No, because they gave me a free one. So I was like, okay, fine, might as well. But I don't remember seeing the results or and I don't remember uh -oh. logging in. Oh, really? Because you're whiter than you wanted to admit? <laughs> That's stupid. Oh, yeah. Didn't you're a lot of your genes come from Span Spain? Yeah, like that, like Europe and here, North America. Mm. But every Mexican has the same DNA. Yeah. Like we're all mutts. So. I bet you. If same you with Philippines. Go, yeah. If you, if you get the DNA of like, the Mexican that look really indigenous, they'll be different. Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. The ones that were like, we never fucked a Spaniard. <laughs> we're pure blood. Yeah, we're the pure Aztec over here. Because mine was like, I was like, hoping that I had a mix of Asian, but it was basically 99% Japanese. Uh, say yeah. same. <laughs> you did it too? Yeah, same. I got like 99% Japanese and like 1% Korean and then like a fraction of a percent like other. You're it's both Korean. Uh, yeah. The Filipinos that, like most Filipinos are look, look kind of like brownish Asian. Yeah. But like the Filipinos that are like really pure Filipino, they look super Asian. Like oh, they're very, really? yeah, they look almost like Chinese or, or like. Yeah, that is yeah. true. So genetically, you guys should both love K-pop. One percent of us should. Yeah, the Spotify. Uh, Spotify will say, yeah, yeah, yeah. one percent. Give us like all J-pop and then like one Korean song. Yeah. We're like, I don't know how to feel about what this. What the fuck is this? <laughs> I wish they would be more specific. It's just though. all karaoke jams. Yeah. What's the difference? What's the difference between K-pop and J-pop? Byron, take it away. Yeah. <laughs> Byron, I don't think Byron's getting this video. Oh we shit. Can, we can try. Well, it. I want to know. I genuinely what is know. Korean? What is Japanese? Korean pop and Japan pop. But yeah. is there like a oral difference? Like, can you yeah. tell? Like, I think musically, there's a difference in structure. I mean, they're both pop music, but 
I think uh, Korean pop it has a lot more Western influences. Yeah, definitely. Like, like they they hire a lot of um, producers from from Hollywood that that are like top producers for celebrities out here, and then they hire them to go back and train their artists and. And, and, and music and all kinds but of the, stuff. But the so. sound of it is not different. Is that what a little saying? bit? Oh, it is. Like, no, it, it, to the untrained yeah. ear, yeah. no, maybe. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> oh. And then J-pop's like dun 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 dun. Oh. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Wow, that's a big difference. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like when Vanilla Ice is trying to. It's not like that at all, Tiffany. <laughs> I don't think it's like. Oh, it's not like that at all. That doesn't make any sense. I've never even seen male J-pop. I've only seen female right? J-pop. There's male J-pop. There yeah, male J-pop. They're, they're out there. Because all I yeah, see yeah, is yeah. is uh, ma male Korean pop. But there's there's female Korean pop too. Like one girl band. Yeah, I mean it's it's pop. Well, they're usually <laughs> groups of them, regardless, yeah, right? They were they were like the cute little outfits. They're I love very, very kawaii. I love Ant saying he doesn't know something, and then he's like, "What? Oh, well, then then there's one of them." <laughs> <laughs> there is. I know one. Right? Ant, you just got pants hard, dude. And then he's like, "Well, maybe yeah. There's like point one of them." <laughs> I've seen it. <laughs> there has like, to be right. Come on. Just gotta uh, fucking love it's it. Sure though, because like, when we were in Japan and we were, because I remember we went to a bar one time and they were playing a whole bunch of music. Videos videos and it was like J-pop and the girl bands there were like 30,000 of them in one group it was just like an insane amount wow. of people in one yeah, I think group. they're called idol groups or something like that but then it's like a whole crew of girls they just like flash mob it's like a Bollywood movie but it's a group <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 it was wow. like that and it was they were all wearing like the same outfit and yeah. they were part of one group that's wow. kind of dope there's a that's a really cool idea yeah, actually visually yeah. I really like that I and love then it's it's, all it's all like Bollywood. imagine if like uh you know how they have those 30 group dance crews yeah so imagine it's like they dance, but they also sing. I want it. Yeah, I like that. I want it. And they have like personalities too. So like they have one for every type of guy or girl that would like. Yeah. That's so cool. Like, like, they cover all bases. Yeah. Oh, they'll be like the nerd, the hot one, the like rebel. Her like her like right hand. But everybody, whatever, it's like, like the deaf guy. Yeah, everybody. <laughs> it's like the driver. I want to see a pop group just full of rejects. Like, the girl with the eye patch. Yeah. You know. What I mean? <laughs> they got everybody covered. Yeah. But. Like those Nintendo Mies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. You got the plus size, and then you have the super skinny, and you have the everywhere in between. That's cool. Yeah. I love that. <laughs>